Welcome back to part two in our video series on how to add a customer's contact details to Salon Studio. In video one, we covered how to add basic information like your client's first name, surname, their mobile, their birth, and their, their address to Salon Studio. However, there's a lot more information that you need on your client. So let's go to, let's go to the second page in our client contact card. What you'll notice at the top of the Salon Studio client card, we have three tabs. One is called General, which we've already covered. Now we have additional contact information and a contact photo. In this video, we're going to cover adding in additional contact details. So let's click on the tab. When you click on the tab, um, you can now see page two on our Salon Studio client card. We're going to start off in the top left hand corner by adding in our contact phone numbers. We already have Jane Smith's um, mobile number, but we need more than that. We need either her home number or her work telephone number. So let's make up a number here for um, Jane Smith. Let's make it 869-1111. You need as many different methods to be able to contact your client as you possibly can get in this day and age. Remember, the more information you have on your client, the more in control you are of the purchasing relationship. If your client has a, a fax number, get it and put it in. In this instance, let's uh, put in another number over here. Let's say triple one uh, two. Now we've got um, our client's fax number. Next, we're going to move on to our customer's email. Now I'm sure you already know that in this day and age, it's extremely important to know what your customer's email address is. Because if you have her email address, you can market to her via email. But it also makes it very easy for you to connect with your clients who are on Facebook. So let's put in Jane Smith's email address over here. It's a janesmith at gmail.com. Now, if your customer does have her own web page, whether it's a private web page or a business web page, put it in. If she doesn't, leave it blank. In this instance, let's say that Jane Smith has her own email, her own website, and it's janesmith.co.za. Very, very important to know. Next, we're going to move on to some additional contact information. We're going to look at our client's gender. Click on the drop down box. In this case, Jane Smith is not a male, she's a female, so let's change it. Ethnic orientation, very important to know from a marketing perspective. Let's pretend that in this instance, Jane Smith happens to be a colored lady. And if we go to the next drop down arrow, let's pretend that her home language happens to be Afrikaans. We did put in um, on video one, we put in that Jane, we put in Jane's wedding anniversary. So we do need to uh, specify that Jane is married. However, if she was single, we, we could put in that she was single. Next, we're going to focus on our customer's rating. In Salon Studio, we've provided you with an extremely powerful way to help you manage and understand your clients. In the top right hand corner of Salon Studio is our customer rating system. Every time you load a new client to Salon Studio, that client will get a score of 10 out of 10. 10 is good and 0 is really bad. Now what happens is, as you begin to use Salon Studio, Studio Scheduler on a day to day basis, if Jane Smith comes late for her appointment, if she keeps cancelling appointments, or even in the worst thing that a client could possibly do is to make an appointment and on the day to just not pitch and not tell you that she's not coming. If Jane Smith does any of those, Salon Studio will automatically lower Jane Smith's score. Now the minute that Jane Smith gets to a 5 out of 10, if you look in the bottom left hand corner here on Salon Studio, you'll notice we have a folder called Challenging Clients. When Jane Smith gets to 5 out of 10, Salon Studio will automatically move her to this, this uh, challenging client category. The challenging clients are essentially a problem client group. So at the click of a button, you can find out who are all your problem clients. You can then begin to figure out who they are, why they're messing you around, why they keep coming late, what treatments they're tied to, what therapists they're related to. And from there, you can either get rid of the customer or you can fix the problem by implementing new management structures and procedures inside your salon. So please make sure you use this and you pay attention to this grading system. Next, we're going to go on to our censoring or our spam filter. In South Africa, the Consumer Protection Act was recently launched and technically we're not allowed to send information to clients if they don't want it. So in this instance, let's imagine that Jane Smith happens to be a sensitive lady who doesn't want to receive a birthday issue, a birthday SMS. We can then click on this little box and Salon Studio will not allow you to send an SMS, a birthday SMS to Jane Smith. You can tick any one of the boxes, but in this instance, let's pretend that we do want to send a message to Jane Smith and we want to market to her using our birthday anniversary appointment as well as our survey SMS. So we can leave the boxes blank in this instance. Now we come to something very, very important. The next field says introduced by. 
Whenever a client walks into your salon for the very first time, you want to find out where did that customer hear about you. In this instance, let's click on the drop down box. Let's pretend that Jane Smith heard about you because of your fabulous salon signage um, outside the front of your salon. So you, you can select from a number of different standard marketing campaigns that we already included into Salon Studio. But if you're running your own specialized marketing campaigns, you can click on the add new field and you can add in any other marketing campaign or marketing strategy that you happen to be running. But let's leave it on signage for now. The next thing we can do, now we have a list of therapists who work for our salon. Let's imagine that Jane Smith, her favorite therapist is Lausanne. That every time she comes, she regularly asks for Lausanne. We are then going to tie her directly up to Lausanne. And in another email, we're going to teach you why all of this information, and especially this information of a, of a preferred therapist, is so important. The next thing that we can do is we have a list of subscribed services. Now, what I've already done is I've manually ticked boxes. These boxes represent what Jane Smith regularly purchases. Um, they're the products or the services that Jane Smith loves to buy. So here you can see that Jane Smith regularly comes in and buys a set, uh, full set of gel nails from your salon. So you can manually tick these boxes. So if Jane Smith regularly comes in for a head, neck and shoulder massage, you can manually record what it is that Jane Smith likes to buy. However, I'd also like to let you know that as you begin to use your Salon Studio schedule on a daily basis, our scheduler will immediately create a profile and will start recording a history um, of what it is that um, Jane Smith loves and regularly buys and purchases. And we're going to use this to help you put the right message in the right person's hand at the right time.